Top 5 Facts About Game of Thrones Number 5. The final season will feature several callbacks to Season 1. For anyone who needs a refresher course on all things Game of Thrones to get ready for the final chapter, all you need to do is re-watch Season 1, according to Maisie Williams. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, the Arya Stark actress revealed that after she knew the ending to season 8, she had to go back and re-watch the first season. After reading the scripts I went back and watched season 1 again, because so much of it refers back to that season, Williams shared. There are so many scenes that will look similar. And also I watch just to remind myself of the arc I've taken already. I wanted Arya to go full circle and try for some kind of normalcy like when she was younger. Number 4. Swords of the Fallen. The Iron Throne sends a powerful message to all who look upon it. It is comprised of thousands of swords of those who dared go against whoever was to rule the Seven Kingdoms at the time. Looking upon a throne made out of swords of dead enemies is sure to convey to you that you should think twice about rebelling against whoever rules the Seven Kingdoms, but there is also another powerful message for those who gaze upon the Iron Throne. If you look closely, you can see that there are a few swords from notable swordsmen embedded into the throne. One of which is this sword that belongs to Gandalf from the Lord of the Rings series. This can be seen as a little winked to eagle-eyed fans. I don't know, I'm just spitballing here, but it does make you wonder, right? Number 3. Khaleesi and Khal Drogo hit it off. Despite the fact that Khal Drogo didn't even live for a full season of Game of Thrones, his character and marriage to Danny have had lasting impacts on the narrative. Jason Momoa managed to channel his inner barbarian for the role of Drogo, and he was apparently quite enthusiastic about getting to act alongside Amelia Clark. She recently revealed just what happened when she met Momoa for the first time, and it's a pretty amazing story. Amelia Clark had this to say about meeting Jason Momoa. The first time I met Jason was in a hotel lobby in Belfast. I walk in and I'm exhausted and I have my bags and I'm really tired and it was really late at night. And I walk in, and from the other side of this enormous lobby, I hear... Wifey. And this huge Hawaiian man comes bounding over to me, picks me up, and genuinely gets me in like a rugby tackle to the floor. It was only when he picked me back up and kind of dusted me off, and I was like... Who are you? Number 2. Dragbet or Catagon. The dragons are some of the most loved creatures in Game of Thrones. That's at least partly credible to the gorgeous and expensive CGI used to bring them to life. How did they do it? Well, with a serious lack of dragon motion capture actors in Hollywood, the creatures' movements are actually inspired by the motion of some more familiar animals. The production team used cats, geese, and even bats to mimic the look of a dragon on screen. Imagine a goose dressed up in a green motion capture suit, pretending to be a dragon. You're now halfway to making an episode of Game of Thrones. Number 1. Scientists have calculated the odds to try and predict who'll survive Season 8. Read our Lysted and Benjamin Brown. Injury epidemiologists at Sydney's Macquarie University watched all the current episodes of Game of Thrones with an eye towards mortality trends and believe that they have determined some key factors in who is most likely to live or die in Season 8, statistically speaking. The news is not great for low-born males with a high level of loyalty, who are the most likely to be killed. On the plus side, the study found that upper-class women have a better survival rate. In addition, switching allegiances seems to lengthen a character's lifespan. Using these criteria, and further expounding on their findings in the media, the research suggests that Sansa and Arya Stark have the best statistical chance of surviving the series as they have changed allegiances.
while Daenerys Targaryen and Cersei Lannister have the high-born factor working in their favor, the fact that they've both remained fiercely loyal to their initial goals may not bode well for their ultimate survival. Not far behind the Stark sisters in terms of survival probability are Jon Snow and Tyrion Lannister, who Lysbid told HuffPost are both very much still in the running. Drop the beat. It's no surprise that many actors have other hobbies that have absolutely nothing to do with acting. Acting is a job. No matter how much fun it is, actors still need breaks from time to time to get into other activities that they enjoy. What if I told you one of the Game of Thrones actors is a successful DJ? Who do you think it would be? Take a quick guess. Alright, time's up. Who do you think it is? Wrong. It's Hodor. Can you imagine 6 feet 11 Hodor, Christian Nairn, standing over a DJ booth and fist pumping in the air? That would be awesome to see. It would be even better if he took a bunch of Game of Thrones lines and mixed them together to make one awesome track. Maybe it will happen one day? In the meantime, you can check out Christian's music on SoundCloud. That was all the information we have available on the topic. We hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more interesting content. Thank you for choosing Artificial Archives and we hope you have a wonderful day.